Good morning, folks. We've got a look across space weather from the sun to earth, peeking in on volcano eruptions and a very rare earthquake. And as always, peeking in at the world weather as well. But we begin at spaceweathernews.com. Here's the last day on our star. No minor surges or pops to be seen. It is one calm, earth-facing half of the sun. The solar flaring remains quite low, and by all rights, it should stay there unless the departing spots to the right give us a goodbye kiss once they get out of the earth-facing position. The solar wind indeed intensified yesterday, but also, as mentioned, due to yesterday's delayed arrival, it's nowhere near as strong as the experts predicted it might be, and Earth has handled the stream very well thus far. The entirety of the southern IMF is tipped towards Earth here. Heliographically, this is your normal solar view, but magnetically, we're essentially looking at the south pole of the sun. Of course, there's a measure of stability to a larger structure, but the lithosphere got active again yesterday anyway. This eruption may have been short-lived, but it sent ash thousands of meters up. It was just one of two volcanoes to erupt in the last 36 hours, making for three in a line down into Central America. Other was Santiaguito with a towering column of ash and smoke. We also had a very unusual tremor hit Queensland, Australia, largest of the last two decades there, but luckily damage and injuries are few and minor. Extreme rainfall with the monsoon season continues its slightly anomalous shifting to the tune of destroying thousands of homes and displacing hundreds of thousands of people across southern Asia. This landslide allegedly took place yesterday in China as the rains finally took a day off, like the entire mountainside just let go and slid down. Let's take a look at the Global Climate Report because, as always, this percentiles map, the most misleading map in climate history, is the only one you're going to see posted across the internet. It does include the record cold there, but all in all, it missed the majority of the colder than average zones, especially when it sends land temp marks 100 kilometers out into the sea and surrounding every island. Actually, a very even split if you're looking at the true data, and we can find the chart that shows Antarctica as well see the near record cold, except of course where the volcanoes are going off under the water south of the Americas. Folks, the last couple Deeper Look episodes are not to be missed, but right now I am hoping for comments and shares on the earthquake challenge. I'm not sure if you guys caught our Facebook or Twitter post yesterday, but the timeline of the earthquake challenge is really looking ugly for love when you see the whole thing. And also, let's keep poking Mr. Rogan. I don't think he heard us yesterday. Facebook and Twitter links are found below. We've got weather around the world and shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.